Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. WandaVision ended up being a really big hit, surprisingly to some and expectedly to others. And with an outstanding cast that was in this television series, there's no denying that there's some hilarious moments when these actors are either paired together or interviewed for various things like press tours. And it's really been a lot of fun to look at these cast members behind the scenes opening up about what it was like filming for WandaVision. So today we want to take a look at some of the best and funniest moments of the cast members from WandaVision and maybe try to decide who is the greatest cast member from this series while we maybe hope for the possibility of a season two one day. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder. We do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. Starting things off, we obviously were reunited with Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany together in the television format this time around, though we've seen these cast members together in various films throughout the MCU's history. And it's always really cool to see these actors doing interviews together or even on their own, just talking about their experiences in a show like WandaVision. Vision and Wanda found their own lane to swim in in a, in a really crowded, you know, yes. pool. You know, and that was great. And then to be given this, uh, and Lizzie said it right, this gift to be able to really explore these characters in detail, I think it's just, it's been, it's been wonderful. I wanted everybody to feel comfortable and not feel icky about the whole thing because I thought they were going to be gentlemen and just look me in the face and say it's over. And so I went in and I said, look, no, just absolutely no hard feelings. It's been a great run. Thank you so much. And they went, wait, are you quitting? And I went, no, aren't you firing me? And they went, no, we were going to pitch you a TV show. And I went, oh, excellent. And so I've been doing that diligently. And I noticed that my next door neighbor never, ne never cleans his stoop or, or, or a sidewalk. So I decided, you know, I'm going to do the neighborly thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to clean it, right? So I started cleaning it. As I was doing it, it was, I, I, I started realizing I was getting to the end of doing it, and nobody had noticed that I had done it. Well, you nailed it. And, uh, and I always tell people I do junkets every day. So if I don't like like a movie or a show or performance, I, I just awkwardly sit here. But seriously, you're so good in this part. Um, oh, I, uh, I, I know that there are sections of the show that were filmed sort of a, in front of a live studio audience. But obviously, like Marvel, is so good at keeping secrets and they're protective of spoilers. I've literally done junkets for, for Marvel films without even seeing the movie in advance. So when you have an entire live studio audience. It was actually really cool. After WandaVision first released, we even saw an interview of Elizabeth Olsen talking about some of the memes that she's seen from the show already. Me, me when I started today's episode, me when I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> That is... That's like my first still. <laughs> it's just... I think that's my first movie still like ever. Like was it Sundance? <laughs> it's, that's good. It's it's you. It's 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 acting. It's great. We even got to see Paul Bettany open up a little bit about his bald head in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Were you, did you have any doubts that you could pull off the I uniform? Yes, I did. I thought there might be, but I thought they might help me out with CG. Uh, but it turned out that my having my bald head is my best feature. So I, you know, I'm looking to my dotage with uh, with a you know. Little, uh, little optimism. One of the breakaway stars or breakaway cast members from this show that definitely was unexpected if you were following this show day one was Katherine Hahn. And we saw this really interesting interview where we got to see this actress react to the huge popularity that the song Agatha All Along ended up gaining along the way. The song even topped iTunes for a little while, and it's really interesting to see. Uh, I'm sorry, it was Agatha All Along was the uh, song at the end of uh, two episodes ago, and it was actually number one, a 47 second song, number one on iTunes. Don't understand it. I know, it's amazing. I, top I, of the I, charts. Crazy. Seth, what's happening? You're top of the I, charts, kid. <laughs> I was all... <laughs> I mean, I was also like, what? 
but nonetheless, before we knew the truth about who this character was, we did see Catherine Hahn in a lot of the interviews leading up to the WandaVision release. We didn't really know too much about this character or what the involvement would be, and it's really interesting how Catherine Hahn was able to keep a lid on some of the big plot things that were kind of pretty massive secrets. Little children and election and um, he's an incredible writer and it's I would say it's a dual coming of age story between a mother a single mother and her college bound son um, on the eve of his going away for college and they both kind of have this awakening I would say through the I'd say through the Pandora's box of internet porn. <laughs> okay good. <All> right. <laughs> Did you just? Did I, you, are you rejoining us? <laughs> did you just run to the kitchen? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm having a sip of my Pim's cup. <laughs> Do you like to see people's theories? Do you go online and read what they think is going on with your character in the show? I only yesterday bought my first. This is the truth. Yesterday I got my first computer ever. Then of course we saw. Kat Dennings reprised her role as Darcy Lewis for the first time all the way since Thor The Dark World in 2013, and fans are pretty excited to see this actress return, and just to in general see more what this character has been up to all of this time. And Kat Dennings has been really open in a lot of the interviews about just the thoughts of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to other things about specifics when it comes to her role. Well, a, a wooded area that was much more wooded when I was there, but uh... It's it's called Winwood for anyone in the know. I Very see. exciting. What happened yeah. when you left? They got angry and chopped down all the trees. <laughs> it was just it was a beautiful. It was more like wooded, and there's a horse farm nearby. I actually lived um, in a in a very old, very old house that was built in um, 1694. Okay, so I'm curious. How did they explain the show to you? Because it's been like one of the things that's like I love the show. I have no idea what's happening. Right. <laughs> So how would you explain it or how was it explained to you? Yes, exactly. Well, you nailed it. It's very difficult to explain. Uh, there are so many elements, but uh, initially my first in-person meeting for the show uh, was in a very secretive uh, conference room where I, I signed a lot of things before I went in. I know that there's a, a lot of online uh, stuff about Darcy and Loki uh, that's been brought to my attention, which is so great. Uh, let's do it for the Tumblr. I mean, honestly, the cool thing about Darcy being an original character and and what she does now, which is now she's Dr. Darcy Lewis, she's an astrophysicist, um, she's kind of fair game for any interaction, which is very exciting. But ultimately, as WandaVision kind of closes out, we can appreciate the overall cast that was in this television series. So many cast members that kind of put together this awesome dynamic. We don't really have time to talk about each individual one, but from new characters like Monica Rambeau really kind of getting fleshed out in this form to other characters like Jimmy Woo, it was really cool just to see all of the amazing cast members come together and do the interviews and other things and just talk about some of the production side of this television series behind the scenes. So, for all the fans watching at home, Elizabeth and Paul wanted to make sure they said a special thank you to MCU fans. And while we could not beam them directly into your living rooms, no matter how cool that would have been, we were able to surprise a few <laughs> lucky fans. It is a mashup between American sitcoms throughout the decades and Marvel film with these characters. That's where it starts and then it sort of snowballs into uh, epic uh, Marvel movie that you've grown to know and love. I'm very yeah. excited. When you walk into a house, you walk in the house. If you're a guest, I'm not gonna be that tough with you. I might suggest it, but only if you're comfortable. But I, my shoes are off the moment I get inside the house. It's very rough. And you will follow them around with them off. 
<laughs> my cats uh, are over. <laughs> I was really resistant to this. So who is your favorite cast member from WandaVision? And who is maybe your new fan favorite from this series that you didn't already appreciate as much before? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.